Anyways, let's continue. Giorgio. Aquí estamos. Aquí estamos. Mr. Cabrera. Hola, hola. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Matías. Matías. Mati Carrasco. Mati Carrasco. But Matias is here. I swear to God, I saw him. I saw you, Matias. Where are you? Matias Carraco. Matias. Hello, profe. Ah, oof. there you are. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, tienen que contestar, si no, hay algunos profesores que lo sacan de la sala. Los que quedan. Yeah. Ya, yeah, así que contesten si les preguntan. Por pues, favor, pues, no vale dejar el, el PC o el celular conectado y ir a jugar Minecraft. Ya, yeah. Michael. El Michael wasn't here in las clases. Michael, and not here again. Oh, let's see if you weren't here in las clases. Uh, Joaquín. Joaquín. Aquí estoy. Yes. Uh, Ian Son said hello. To the chat. Valentina said hello through the chat. Uh, Jose Thomas. Que dislexia Valentina. <laughs> wow. Uh, Jose Thomas. Okay, what about their friends? Uh, friends of Jose Thomas Delgado. Do you know anything about him? Está muerto. Ya no le llega el PC. Se murió. Pero se le entró un virus al PC. Ah, ya, por ahí va. Ya. Sí, se me dice que está muerto. Me dijo que le iba a llegar uno nuevo mañana, parece. Pero es lo mismo, profe. Sí, está muerto el PC. Ya, yeah. ok, ya. Yeah. Thanks. Muerto, profe. profe, puso yes. Joaquín ausente. ¿Quién lo puso ausente? Ah, ah Joaquín. Verdad, man. Thank you, secretary. Andrés Dimo. También estoy muerto. Ah, sí. Dimo, yes. Ernesto. Presente. Yes. Mm. Uh, Diego, yeah, Diego say yes. Uh, Gaston, no, Sofia, Sofia Flowers. Presente. Diego, uh, Gaston, Weston. Yes. Weston. Eh, José Víctor. José Víctor Fuentes. Hello. Ah, very nice. Tecnológico. Uh, Josefa Ibañez. Oh, not again. Uh, Ariadna. Yes, we just talked with Ariadna. Ariadna. Old present. Very nice. Ariadna. Martin Monroy. Martin Monroy. Bueno, hay que ver, pues, pues, sí. yeah. Constanza Núñez. Cunifun. ¿Alguien sabe de la Cunifun? No, Anaís, a ver. Ok. Uh, Anaís. Presente. Thank you. Benjamin Palma. Palma. Palma? Okay, no Palma. Strange. Oh. Val Valentina Pavez. Oli. Yes. Vicente Riverox. No. David. Y su silla gamer. No lo veo. Josefa. Presente. Josefa tiene tres nombres. Qué cool. Qué cool. Oh, no, qué horrible. Ah, la constancia igual tiene tres nombres. ¿Verdad? Sí, tiene tres nombres. Eh, Jorge. Jorge, Jorge. Yo te vi, Jorge, en el chat. 
nuestro Jorge. 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 No, ya. Pero ya no tenéis micrófono. Ya, wait. Poco. Yeah. Teacher, ese era su tono de llamada. Sí. Aguante. El mío es de Vietnam. Oh, no, Jorge Rojas. Yes. Seba Rojas. Presente. Uh, Felipe Salinas. No, Felipe Salinas tampoco. Ignacio Seura. No, Javiera. Ah, no, Ignacio Segura Chat. Sorry. Uh, Javiera Torres. No. Eh, Felipe Vázquez. Bueno, Felipe Vázquez ya no existe. Eh, en este colegio. Eh, Christian Vega. Yes, 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 yes. Every day, yes. So we have 25 people. That's low because you guys 37. Uh, so we are missing 12 people. That's more than 10. Not good. Uh, we have people with yellow. People with yellow are people who have problems with attendance. Please, you need to solve the problem. Oh, vale, barriga. Skull calling. Wait. Ya lo, ya lo solucioné. Estamos en clase ahora, Valentina. Así que ven. Chao. Teacher, el Palma dice que se va a unir a la clase por si acaso. Pero no le llegó el código. Este Palma es irresponsable. No, mentira. Siempre responsable, Palma. ¿No? La, la Vale, me acaba de llamar la Vale diciendo que tuvo un problema. Así que ahora viene. Así que, presidenta, disculpa porque me dice. Pero hay Mr. Demo salvando el día. Mr. Demo. Dima va a salvar el día. Mr. Demo Salvador. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Mr. Palman is coming. Mr. Roquivio is coming. Mr. Palman. 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 Palmita. Palman. Ben. Mr. Palma. Roquito. David. Teacher, sí, no me puso presente. Es que llegaste. Ibáñez. Cuando entre, dígame hola. Dígame hola, por favor. Voy a poner... uh, David, ¿es that you? Sí. Ok, David. Sí. Ya, te vi roquito. Ahí está. ¿En Palmen? ¿Palmen? Sí, Benjamín está en la lista de los participantes. Sí, está en la, en la... sí, pero no escribe, no habla, entonces, ¿cómo se Ahí está más silenciado. Sí, porque que me quieren en el chat. Puede ser un bot. <risa> sí, pues, puede ser un bot. Oye, hemos, hemos pillado gente que se conecta, pero nunca está. Hay que ver. Ya, no, pero Palma yo creo que no calza en esa descripción. Así que seguramente está solucionando algún problema y nos hablará. Ok, so let's leave it like that. Uh, Valentina will come. So today's class, what we're going to do? We're going to check the formative. Ah, we're going to check the formative test. Then we're going to share the results with you guys. Then we're going to talk about the unit's mini project. Uh, which is the ones that you send the videos and then uh, we're going to do some pet preparation this is a bit more challenging at the end of the class we're going to start <laughs>
¿Quién, quién no, quedó? Yo sí, sí, sí. El Cristian fue admin. Ah, pero obvio, es, es mi heredero. Está bien. Cristian, te perdono todo. No, tú ya no mereces ser admin. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, what we have. Admin. Yeah, people, let's go back. So we're going to check the format to test together and then we're going to start sharing the results. Uh, I send the results to Miss Valentina Barriga. Valentina, are you there? President? Valentina? Valentina, le falta entrar con el. Nina, ¿qué es Nina? Ya, yeah, a ver. Eh, vale, Barriga. Yo la... Ah, Diego, no existe. <laughs> yeah, Diego. Qué raro. Ok. Yeah, so I send the results. So, um, let, me, let me send the results with uh, another person. I'm not sharing my screen. Am I? Ah, ok. Thank you, Martina. No, I'm not sharing my screen. So... Uh, okay. uh, vale, Cortés. Vale, Cortés, ¿me escuchas? No, Cristian. Cristian, que tiene el micrófono. Cristiano. Ah, sí. Ya, yeah. Cristiano, necesito un favor. ¿Qué favor? Salud. Oh, Salud. Thank you. Uh, Cristiano, te voy a mandar un archivo. Necesito que lo mandes al grupo. Uh, okay. Al grupo de tus compañeros. Eh, acá está. Se lo mandé a la bala y nunca apareció. Ahí está. Ahí va. Pium. Pium. Me llegó. Pium. Reenvié. Pium. Pium. Ya lo reenvié. Ajá, muy tarde, vale. Lo envié al grupo, por si acaso. Ok, thanks. Thanks, man. So, uh, in there, in that, in that, in that file you're gonna find your results of the format test or the quiz and uh, let me have a look let me show you a bit uh, so the results of this ones I couldn't get the individual results um, because I had to check everything manually so you will see your names Andres Dimo etc you will see your points and the answers Uh, all of them are checked now. These are check, 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 check. And your points are here. Remember that the maximum is 31 points. 31 points. We have people with uh, 20, 27, 29, 27, 30. Wow, 30. Look at that. 25. Around, yeah, it's good. But some people still very low. Some people 7, 10. You will see your names, please. Uh, don't compare with your friends. Okay, that's not good. Uh, compare this result with the previous one and with the next one of the next unit. So uh, what we're going to do now is to check, is to check the formatted test together, and you are going to receive the results with your friends. Okay, from Christian. Christian is going to send you the results. So we're going to check. I need your help to check this formatted test. And to do this, you're gonna, you are going to read the sentence with the correct option, okay, in it, with the correct option. So let's have, let's have Mr. Christian begin. Can you read this one and the correct option in it, please, Cristiano? <clears throat> okay. I hope do doctors find a cure to fight this pandemic. Uh -huh. In this case, yes, option B. So, option, uh, pronunciation of this one is cure. Cure. The cure. Yes, yeah, the cure. So, in this cure. case, cure is the key word. Uh, find a cure. It's excellent. Let's continue with someone with microphone, Mr. Altamiranox. Can you continue with number two? Thank you, Christian. Um, Altamirano? Okay, okay. Altamirano, can Our you read? Our understanding of the universe is quite limited. 
There's so much to learn. Aha, it was a good voice, Otamirano, you progress so much. So our understanding, yes. Uh, understanding could be a synonym of what? Or knowing, or? Yes, of knowledge, yes, of knowledge, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's perfect, man. Knowledge or understanding, conocimiento, entendimiento. So our understanding of the universe or our knowledge is limited. Uh, we need to learn so much more things. Valentino Barriga is here. Hola. Hola, Valentino Barriga. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Mr. De Demo, can you continue? According to experts, can you continue, please, man? This one. I can read it. Sí, estamos leyendo todos con poniendo la alternativa dentro de la oración. Ya dice, according to experts, creating a vacuum. This is true, no? Yeah, creating a vaccine. To admit, yeah, to administer people to fight the pandemic will take a less or a year. That's in a year, yes. So in this case, it says vaccine. Yes, vaccine is the word. Creating a vaccine to administrate uh, will take a year. Uh, definition of vaccine. Vaccine, definition. Vacuna. Yes, thank you. So, palabras de la unidad. Thank you. Let's continue with Cristóbal Cabrera. Mr. Cabrera, let's go. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. Cristóbal Aguilera, please. Save us from this nightmare. Hello, not you? Yes, please, Master. Lots of people in the science world are currently doing research on COVID-19, no, COVID-19, no? COVID-19, yes. COVID COVID I think. Ah, 19, ah, 19, 19, 19. Yes, good, 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 perfect. So it's doing research. Uh, the expression is doing research. That is the correct expression. It's not making research, it's not taking research, it's doing research or do research. That is the thing that we need. Goody, doing research. Uh, ben, Ben Palmer, please continue with number five. Ben Palmer. Uh, ah, one second, I have a little problem. Okay, man, no worries. What's the biggest um, invention, achievement? Yes, humankind. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the biggest invention of humankind in this case? Is invention because we have a car, a plane, and electric bulb is invention. That was the correct one. Number six. Thank you, Palman. Number six. Let's continue with Gaston Weston. Weston. Thank you, Weston. I don't know how she came up with that idea. Mm -hmm. It was genius. It was genius. So in this case, we have a phrasal verb come up with. What's um, it? What is that? Surgir. Surgir, yes. Como, eh, que se le ocurrió. Yeah? Surgir, que se le ocurrió una idea en este caso. Surgir, thank you. So uh, we have two options. Come up with, which is in the present, and came up with, which is in the past. And the correct one is B because it said it was genius. Yeah. Fue, fue genial, o sea, fue muy creativa. So it was in the past. Next one, it says number seven. Ian, Christy, Ian, do you have microphone? Yes. Oh, yes, very nice. Thank you, Master. Let's continue. Spear. Ian, can you read this one, please? 
Ah, tenía que leer allá. Yeah, yeah. Spear, <laughs> spear and knife were some of the tools that primitive humans used for hunting. Yes, for hunting. Spear and knife. So they were tools, okay? What's the meaning of a spear? Lanza? Una lanza, yes, una lanza. Good. So that we have that one. Uh, let's continue with another person. Let's go with the girl now. Uh, Sophia Flowers. Sophie Flowers. She didn't? Uh, she didn't see her mom because she went around the big tree, tree and came the other way. Yes, and came the other way. So if the mom came the other way, si salió por el otro lado, significa the Significa que se dio la vuelta. Entonces, she went around. She went around the big tree and came the other way around. So that was the correct one. It was went around. Thank you, Sofita. Uh, let's have now Miss Pavés. Miss Pavés está con... Diego Spindle likes. Watch you, watch you. Okay, Diego, explain the last. Can you continue with number nine? Um, hey, tell you something funny. The other day, my mom went out to water the plants and some dudes had stolen their hose. Mm -hmm. Next, I heard she, what? Next, I heard was her swearing while coming in. Aha, uh -huh, the hose. Uh, what was the meaning of hose? Mangara. Yes, let's take pronunciation because I can't remember. How to pronounce? There's Google help. The who's? The house. Who's how? House. 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 It's like house, but with z. Okay. House. Uh, yeah, the house. So, uh, the stolen that thing. And what's that? Next thing I heard, swearing. Swearing is sudando, no? Swear. Oh yeah, it could be that swearing, but that's sudando is sweating. Conte, sweating. Ah. And swearing is saying bad words like ah, this thief. Ah, god damn it. Okay, swearing. So to swear, the verb swear is maldecir. Decir mala palabra. Swearing. Okay. Thank you, Diego. Thanks. Mm, good reading. Uh, let's continue with. Miss Barriga, of course. Okay, Miss Barriga, let's go. Miss Valentina. Can you continue, Miss Barriga? Yeah. Miss Barriga, we are reading the sentences. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's. Take a group picture. Hey, Miss Audi, please go back to work because you're too tall, man. Okay, you're too tall, man. So, in this case, it's go backwards. Is the para atrás. Yes. Thank you, Miss Borriga. Wake up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe go, go to the bathroom, wash your face. Uh, let's continue with Giorgio. Hey, Giorgio, let's go. I feel like internet uh, must the biggest technology uh, yeah. break through. No, break through, yes, break through. Over uh, the last two decades. Yes, over the last two decades. There would be breakthrough. Breakthrough means progress, adelanto. So this case is the, the biggest technological breakthrough. A technological breakthrough is when a technology jumps, heads, okay, years ahead. This is the internet changed the world. That's why it's a technological breakthrough. Goody. So next one, I'm gonna read them quickly. Past simple is generally express finished events and past routines. Yes. For example, I went to the doctor yesterday. It's finished. I went and I came back. Finished. Past routines. When I was a kid, I I 
I played volleyball, okay? So that was a past routine. And another thing, past continuous, when used together with the past simple, expresses actions in progress, which are interrupted. Yes, for example, I was um, watching a movie when the pizza delivery came. So I was watching a movie, past continuous, action in progress, and it was interrupted by the pizza delivery. Then we have irregular verbs in past simple use the third column. No, they use the second column with the past simple. The column number three is the PP verbs or the past participle verbs. 15, yesterday, last month, back then, 1998. What the hell is going on, people? So in this case, also we have uh, these are expression of the past simple. Yes. Second conditional explains possible events in the present and the future. No, these events are imaginary, so they are not real. So that why is false. Uh, it says here, for example, if I say uh, if I won the lottery, I would travel to Spain. Yeah, I may, I might win the lottery someday, and the event is. Is imaginary now but it may happen in the future but might happen so there's a very low chances it's not really possible to happen conditional sentences are divided into the if part which is the condition and the result yes the conditional number one number two and number three are divided into the condition with if and the result and the structure used to express its events in the past and continue doing in the present. Well, this is false because these actions do not continue happening in the present. If I say, I used to watch uh, the Ninja Turtles on TV, I don't do it anymore. Uh, I used to eat uh, cheese, for example, uh, I don't do it anymore. So that's why it's the thing. Although the structure of which uses a past simple verb, it refers to the present. That's true because it says, I wish I was rich. I was rich. It doesn't mean that it's past. It means that it's a wish of something different. So wish, however, uses a verb in past simple. It refers to a present wish. If I say, for example, I wish I... Probably Valentina. I wish I were. I wish I were sleeping now. Um, I wear sleeping is past, but it represents a situation of the present. Okay, let's continue with the other one. Uh, Cristiano, let's go back again. We have to read this one with the correct sen uh, choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Yeah, Cristiano, you. Qual, 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 qual? Um, no, twenty. Well, I was walking home. I meet an old friend of me. Yeah, an old friend of mine. And se caso, friend of mine, cuando es amigo mío o algo mío, friend of mine. And in this case, we have was walking. Yes, that's correct because we have while is an action in progress. And I met was the interruption. Goody, let's continue with Mr. Altamiranox again. Well, Newton was relaxing under a tree. An apple fell on his head. I mean, fell. Yes, fell, because we have this one. It's an interruption in past simple. Past simple of fall is fell. So that's why. And the action in progress was he was relaxed uh, under the tree. Yeah. Thank you, Altamira. You say fell, but it doesn't. Ah, felt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, many people confuse this. Sometimes I do too. Is the verb feel and the verb fell. So in that case, the past should be felt. In this case, fell comes from fall. And that's a thing that we always try to make, we all always make mistakes with fell. Sentir, felt, and fall, fell, yes. Yes, thank you, Altamira. No, good point. You're right. Uh, Weston. 
continue with the next one, Western. Sí. Yes, can you continue with the next one, please? Uh, ¿La tengo que leer? Yeah. Ah, ok. Uh, there was an explosion while Apollo... <laughs> yeah, Apollo 13. 13 was flying to the moon. Yes, was so flying to the moon, Apollo 13. Uh, there was an explosion. So there was an explosion while past continuous. It was flying. Thank you, Mr. Weston. Let's continue now with Mr. Diego Expindolax with the conditionals. Diego Spindolax. ¿Qué pasó? Diego Spindolax, can you continue, please? Eh, ¿Cuál era? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 23 o 23rd. If I won the lottery, I will be so glad and boy a mansion. Ajá, yes. The conditional, if I won the lottery. That's the only one, which is the correct one. And then, thank you, Diego. We have... Uh, Mar no, Martina, uh, Josefa, Josefa Rodriguez, yes. Josefa, you can help us. <laughs> yeah. um, if Ricardo were nicer to his friends, they would invite him out. Yes, they would invite him out. So we have condition with if and then we need would in the second conditional. Thank you, Josefa. Josefa Ibanez, let's continue with you. What? Can you continue with the number 25, please? Uh, I that program if I were you. Yes, I would not download the program if I were you. Uh, if this is backwards, it's al revés. If I were you, I would not download, or I wouldn't download the program. Okay, thank you, Josefa. And to finish is the part of wish. So some people had problems with this. Uh, example, I don't want to mention any names, but for example, we have, I want to live in the valley. I wish to sing better. Uh, we have other issues like if I sing better, or I wish live in the uh, on the valley. I wish I... I wish have more free time. So these are not correct because what we should have done is I wish or if only and the past simple verb. I wish I had more free time. I wish I lived. This is incorrect because sing is not in the past. So is it should have been if only I sang better. So let's see the options. I'm shy and obviously I don't want to be shy. So the wish should be I wish I weren't so shy. I wish I wasn't so shy. I oh, If only I weren't so shy. If only I wasn't so shy. That, those were the correct options. Uh, well, the next one is, uh, I don't have free time, so I want more free time, of course. So if only I had more free time, past simple of have. I wish I could have more free time, past simple of can, the other option. If only I had more free time. And if only I could have more free time. More free time, sorry. Uh, these options are correct. I live in the city. I want to live in the valley. So I wish I lived in the valley. Okay, I wish I lived in the valley. And next one is... I wish I could live in the valley. If only I lived in the valley. If only I could live in the valley as well. So nice, very cool. Finally, have sing. I sing badly. I want to sing better, of course. So I wish I could sing better. If only I sang better. I wish I sang better. And if only I could sing better. So those were the options. Remember that wish takes a verb in the past. If only is the same. 
uh, takes the verb in the past. Sang, sang, uh, could sing also works. Could sing also. And last one, if you had a superpower, uh, which one would you have? What superpower would you have, Mr. Pullman? If you were a superpower, if you were a superhero? Mr. Pullman? Okay, no problem. Uh, Cristiano, will you help me? Oh, did you say something? Yeah, man, Palma, uh, we are checking the test. Nah, sorry, I, I don't hear sometimes. Okay, so uh, what superpower would you have if you were a superhero? Okay. Uh, Iron skin? I don't know. Iron skin. Ah, so would you have iron skin? Well, that's that's very specific and may work. Yeah, it would defend yourself to many diseases, maybe. Yes, and uh, thank you, Palman. What about you, Cristiano? What superpower would you have? Cristiano is not here. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am here. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, Christiana, what superpower would you have if you, if you were superhero? Power. Uh, I would have. I can uh, cover both. Uh, yes, I would have. Would have. Or I would be, or I would, I don't know. For example, I would like to speak, I would like to speak all the languages in the world. That's my superpower. What about you? Uh, I could have a power, it would be intangibility. Intangibility, wow. So, so it should be, I would like to have intangibility power, or superpower, yes. And finally, Miss, thank you, Cristiano. And finally, Miss Flowers, Sophia Flowers, if you could be anywhere in the world, where would you be? Um, I don't know. No? I don't know. No se me ocurre en ningún lugar. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> Miss Josefa Rodriguez, would you like to be anywhere else in the world right now? I know Valentina Barriga would choose bed, probably. Mm, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I was in Good. my house with my mom. In your mom's house. Perfect. Good. Well said. Excellent. Okay. With that being said, with Valentina's perfect example, we're going to finish the revision. So, next thing uh, was to talk about the mini project. So, if I go here, oh, what's going on? Oh, yes, abandon. Yes, I'm going to abandon. Uh, yes, uh, then we have the people who send the video. Please remember the instructions were very simple. Upload it to YouTube. So some people send it me to YouTube. So we, I have Andres Dima, YouTube, very nice. I have here as well uh, from this class, Mr. Dima, YouTube. I know he. Ah, sí, se me mandé dos veces. Uh, from this class, also we have Diego Spindolax, YouTube, very nice. 
Uh, also, we have Weston, you too, very nice. Also, we have Jose Bebañez, eh, you too, eh, muchas partes, pero está bien, no importa. Eh, Martín, Mar Mati Martín. Ah, no, estos son del C. Valentina bueno, Pabés, YouTube, pero nadie me dice Valentina Pabés. Eh, está mañana al final casi. Eh, 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 Disculpe, pero yo le hice con el Martín Monroy. Profesor. ¿Con quién? Con el Martín Monroy. Martín Monroy. Ya, me tenés que, o, ojalá me escriba así otra vez un comentario. Eh, ¿Con quién era? Ya, pero yo sabía. Porque yo lo vi y claro, dije, ¿y con quién era el Roquito? Sí, sí, yo solo mandé el correo tanto en el classroom. Miss Josefa, chu. Eh, ya, estamos viendo. Miss Rodríguez, no, Rodríguez de Oro, eh, Santiago, no. Ignacio Segura, YouTube, yes. Eh, Cristian Vega, YouTube, yes. Cristian Vega, otra vez. <risa> ah, pero este otro Vega, ya. Yeah. Este es Cristian. Es el Cristóbal. Es el Cristóbal. No me compare con un nombre. Eh, no hay más, pues. Faltan hartos aquí, pues. Faltan muchos. Aquí, Giorgito me escribió. No vamos a poner la conversación, pero lo espero, ¿ya? Así que intenten mandarlo, por favor, antes que termine esta semana, para que puedan tener Teacher. alguna nota. Dígame. Yo se lo mandé. Ariana, busquemos al tío. Ari. Ariana, acá está tu nombre. No hay nada. Me lo mandaste por correo. No, por Classroom. Qué raro. A ver. Te lo voy a mandar otra vez. Sí, eh, para las personas que aún no saben cómo a mí mandarlo, porque hay personas que, mire, eviten mandármelo al correo por la siguiente razón. Eh, Classroom funciona con el disco virtual que se llama Google Drive. Entonces, si me mandan videos, usualmente los videos son muy pesados, entonces si me lo mandan a mi correo, se me va a llenar el Google Drive y va a colapsar el Google Classroom. Llega un punto que ya no acepta nada y le sale error. Entonces, eh, al menos los que tengo acá, ¿eh? los que tengo acá, lo enviaron súper bien. Todos estaban en, en YouTube. Había uno que no, creo. Entonces, intenta mandarlo eh, siempre por YouTube. Una pregunta. Yes. Los que no entregaron, pero su, como un compañero sí entregó el trabajo, pero los otros miembros también tienen que entregar el mismo video o no. Ah, ya, 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 ya. Si quieres con un compañero. Yo le recomendaría al compañero poner acá, por ejemplo, supongamos, eh, Rivero, te tocó contigo, supongamos. Que Rivero ponga entregado, igual, pero no adjunte nada. Pero ponga, que lo marque como entregado. Ah, ya. Para que no salga en rojo. Para que no salga en rojo. Yo lo mandé, pero con la intención de que, con, de que mis dos compañeros también usted los chequee. Sí, pues, sí, yo les pongo, les pongo siempre. Me es más fácil. Eh, es más fácil eh, tener eso en cuenta si es que tu compañero le pone como mar marcado como enviado, ¿ya? Que salga en verde. Porque si tú te das cuenta... Marco, no en verde. Sí, si tú te das cuenta, eh, aquí sale sin entregar y sale en rojo, y acá estas personas están en verde. Quiere decir que le puedo poner nota, ¿cachai? Le puedo poner el mismo puntaje que a ti, por ejemplo. ¿Ya? Para Mr. D. Entonces pónganle eso. Eh, yes. Sí, no, que yo se, la había puesto, no sé si por Google claro, pero lo había hecho con el Mati. No sé si lo sí, marcó. Aquí sale, ahí está. Ah, ya. Sí. Ahí. Así que tranquilo, si los que ya llegaron son los que nombramos, el Ariana Inc. intenta mandarlo otra vez, no me lo mande por. Sí. Eh, teacher, yo lo hice con la Marti, o sea, las dos hicimos videos distintos, pero como que los complementamos. Pero no sé si el de ella también le llegó. ¿De la Marti a la Siria? Sí. Ya, mira, por ejemplo, ya ver, resolvamos esto. El Clay, por ejemplo, que es el Ignacio Seura. Eh, Clay de Ignacio Seura, ¿o no? ¿O otra persona? ¿Seura? Ya, acá está, me está hablando. Ah, profesor, yo lo hice con el Ya, ya. oye, Ian, intenta cambiarte el nombre, pues si yo... Ah, es que el correo, güey, no lo puedo cambiar como en no sé cuánto pesos. Sí, se puede cambiar el nombre, te voy acá a la foto, gestionar tu cuenta y dice perfil, información sí, personal. Cuando, cuando uno cambia el nombre una vez, como que no deja cambiarlo como por, como por 
90 días, o sea, tres meses. Chuta, ¿no? ¿Ya bueno? ya, ah, yo. pero esa foto de Pedro soy yo, bro. <risa> sí, <risa> yeah. pero o oh, hace de un correo nuevo. Yo tengo un ah, correo no, que flojera, te lo voy a poner el número, po. Ah, loco, flojo. No, pero déjalo así, ya, ya sé quién es. Es que no tenía cl claridad de quién es. Es que a veces tengo que adivinar. Que hay gente que se pone su <risa> Y aquí, no sé, pues Joaquín. Así que Joaquín, el Joaquín es cerda, po. pero tengo que adivinar un poco. Ya, entonces aquí, ¿qué te faltó hacer a ti, eh, Ian? Es marcarlo como entregado. Por eso está en rojo, por eso me sale aquí abajo. Aquí, acá sale, ¿viste? Sin entregar. Entonces hay que marcarlo como entregado. Y nosotros ya contamos cómo se hacía eso. Y de hecho le vamos a refrescar la memoria antes de pasar a lo último del día. Uh, me voy a ir aquí como estudiante. Trabajo en clase. Este es el trabajo. Aquí donde dice tu trabajo. Añadir. Aquí pongo el enlace de YouTube. Profe. Enlace. Ay, me equivoqué. Añadir. Enlace. Profe. Yes. El enlace de YouTube lo pego ahí y después pongo marcar tarea como completar. Sí, marcar tarea. Ahí va a salir verde. Altamiranox, yes. Ah, es que... Es que mandé el link por, por, por YouTube para que no sea tan pesada la cuestión. Eh, o sea, para que no que descargarla. ¿Ese quién es? ¿Altamirano? Sí. Sí, esta es la forma de hacer el Altamirano. ¿Te faltó marcarlo como enviado? Sí. Así mm, que sorry. intenta marcarlo y... Eh, sí, de hecho, yo siempre lo pido por YouTube para yo no tener que descargarlo, no se me llene el PC, y aparte, eh, no se me llene el, el correo de Gmail, porque si usted, yo les muestro, mi Google Drive, que tiene, está conectado con Classroom, está así de crítico. Ya, entonces ya no aguanta más videos ni cosas. Entonces aquí, por ejemplo, está el video del, del Roquito, que me lo mandó por, por Gmail, eh, te lo voy a revisar igual y después lo voy a borrar, ¿ya? Pero, claro, para la siguiente tarea no me envíen por, por correo. Manden, subalo a YouTube, que es un espacio virtual en otra galaxia lejana, y así no ocupamos espacio de nadie. Ya, yeah. all right. So, that was the uh, homework. Uh, if you haven't sent it, please send it this week, because uh, it will be checked for Friday. Tomorrow, the, everything will be checked. Uh, let's go now to the last part of the class, in which is uh, some pet preparation. Pet is an international test. And we're going to have a look at some activities from the pet. Uh, we are going to start the unit number three next week, not now. It will be next week. Uh, we are not rushing. No nos estamos apurando. Vamos tranquilo. Y si les voy a pedir que la próxima unidad... Cuando existan dudas de las actividades que estamos haciendo, pregunten, por favor. Consulta, pregunta. Eh, este es una, en un formato de clase distinto al de siempre. Por lo tanto, yo siento que las posibilidades de preguntar son muchas más. Y de poder resolver problemas, si es que hay alguien con algún atado, nos vamos a otra página, hacemos un ejercicio, lo que sea. ¿Ya? Para que realmente podamos avanzar, teniendo en cuenta que es complejo. Así que, por favor, hagamos eso. Okay, what's the idea of this activity? It says, look at each text in each question and what does it say? Choose A, B, C. So we need to see what the text say. That's it. It's so simple. It says, for example, red button stops the escalator. Only use in case of emergency. Letter B is a correct because it say, don't press the button unless, what's the meaning of unless? A no ser que. A no ser que, yeah, or a menos que. There is a serious problem. So this is the correct. So what we need to do is to read the message, read the message, or the notice, la nota, and check what it means, what it says. This is the activity number one of the pet test, the reading. Let's go and do it together. It says, hey, Claudia, I want to start French lessons. You said John Gray teaches French. Have you got his phone number? Best, Anna. So Anna, 
wants Claudia to pass on a message to John Gray. What do you think, yes or no? Vamos descartando y confirmando. Yes or no? Okay, let's continue with B. Anna wants to talk to John Gray. And C, Anna wishes she could start French lessons. What do you think? People? Sorry, teacher. What did you ask? Uh, I asked, okay, I read the text and then I asked you what Anna wants. I'm going to read it again. Hey, Claudia, I want to start French lessons. You said that John Gray teaches French. Have you got his phone number? Best, Anna. So, aquí alguien me escribió. Teacher, ¿puedo confirmar si le video el video? Ya, yeah, lo confirmo al tiro. Déjame terminar. Um, thank you, Ariana. Okay, thank you. What do you think is correct? Creo que es la B. Yes, it's letter B, correct one. Because uh, Anna wants to talk to John, so he's asking for the phone number. Uh, Anna doesn't want Claudia to pass a message. Nunca le dice que le dé un mensaje. Y tampoco es un deseo, sino que lo va a hacer. Ya, no un deseo, como de una situación distinta. Sino que dice que quiere tomar la clase. Okay, next one. Photography for beginners. Five week course starts Tuesday 5th, October. There are still a few places. Book with Steve. Let's see what's the best one. A, the photography course is already full. ¿Qué piensan? ¿Sí o no? ¿Es it good? No. No, it's not good. Dice, it's already full. Y acá dice, there's still few places. Aún hay cupos. Ya, yeah, entonces no, mala. Uh, talk to Steve if you're interested in learning how to take photographs. And C, the photography course finishes at the end of October. Yes, letter B is not correct because it says finishes at the end of October. It says start on the 5th of October. Empieza ahí, pero dura cinco semanas. Entonces va a terminar el principio de noviembre. So not good. And this is the correct. Talk to Steve if you're interested. It says book with Steve. What's the meaning of book with someone? Where the company says, book with us. Maybe if you give you another example, if I say, uh, I need, uh, I'm going on vacations and I need to book a, a hotel room for my family. Es como registrarse algo así. Very, very close. Yes. Very, very close. Es que claro, es eh, registrarse, podría ser reservar, ¿no? Reserva con Steve aquí. Haz una reservación de tu cupo. Ya, yeah. ok. So we have B and B. Number one B, number two B. Number three, está un poco más difícil. The recent rain has made the school fields very wet and we might need to move the school sports day from Saturday to Sunday. Please... See this notice board for further information. Por favor, ver la pizarra para más información. Para informaciones que seguirán viniendo. So, what we have is, the sports day will now take place on Sunday. El día del deporte ahora será los domingos. La siguiente dice, the weather will be bad this weekend. And there is a chance that the sport day will still take place on Saturday. Creo que la... 
this is not the correct one. It says will, y ese es 100% seguro. The sports day will now take place on Sunday. Va a tomar lugar, lo, lo van a cambiar al sábado, al domingo, lo siento, del sábado al domingo. Y aquí tenemos una palabrita que nos cambia toda la película. Might. We might need to move. Might is a probability of 25% of moving. So it's not confirmed. So we might change it, but you need to play, pay attention to the board. So the best one is letter C. Dice que hay una posibilidad de que eh, aún se mantenga la actividad para el día sábado. Hay una posibilidad. Chance, possibility, and might are the keywords. Por eso letra C. Están conectadas. Esa pequeña palabra nos cambia todo el sentido del texto. Si hubiese dicho en vez de might, will, we will move the school sports day. Sí, es la absolutamente, pero no. It's letter C because it's a chance. And we might change it. Podríamos, se podrían cambiar. O podríamos, hay que cambiarla, pero no es seguro. Okay, let's continue with the other. Uh, this one, number three, is difficult. Uh, next four is a note. Probably a note that you put on a fridge. It says, Gemma, would it be okay if you didn't use any of the eggs? I need, to, I need them to make some cake when I get back from work. Thanks, Jim. P.S. Posada, P.S. Help yourself to the soup. It's delicious. Let's see. Gemma can eat the soup, but not the eggs. B, eat the soup and some of the eggs. And C, have some K when Jim gets back from work. What do you think is correct? People. No. C. A is the best, yes, letter A. Uh, help yourself to the soup. What's that? That's that expression, help yourself. Es como un animate. Así como, como animate a probar, pero, pero como, en, no sé. Eh, es eso, pero... Tiene la expresión de help yourself, es como deberías probar como por, por salud o algo así. Eh, uh -huh. Ok, Diego, this is the context. Let's imagine. Your family cooked pizza. Ok, they made pizza. And uh, they put the warm pizza on the table. Ok. And your mom or your dad, they are not cutting the pizza. So everything is cut and they say, they say, to you and your family. Oh, okay, pizza is done. Okay, let's help ourselves or help yourself. What do you do when you help yourself? Help yourself. Estamos intentando descifrar qué significa help yourself. So we have the family, the family of Diego made pizza and they, uh, this is a table and they put the pizza here. And the pizza is cut in half. And this is Diego, Diego and Diego with beard. And this is sister, okay. And then we have family here and family here as well, okay. And another, no, I don't know, a cousin. And uh, let's say that sister says, help yourself, help yourself. ¿Qué querrá decir ella? Que la ayuden Acércate o no? La pizza. No, no es que la ayuden. Sírvete. Sírvete, sí, Sírvete. help yourself, sírvete, sírvanse. Sírvete, o sea, saca un pedazo y, y, arregla, y velo tú mismo, no te vamos a servir, help yourself. So help yourself es sírvete, sin problema, come en sopa, está rica. So it's letter A, the best one. Eh, esta no hay que ver, po. de hecho no va en ningún sentido. En esta actividad, en el PET, siempre hay una que no hay que ver, y la otra puede ser, y la otra sí es. Uh, next one, we have, I'm really sorry to miss your party. Hope it's fun, work is not fun at all. So Finn wishes he could go to Ashley's party. Finn is going to be late for the party. Or C, Finn thinks 
that works is as fun as a party, which is the best one. A. 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 This is A. A is the best one because we are wishing something different. And this person, Finn, is working, okay? He's working, but he wishes he could go to the Ashley's party. So that's why she, he, uh, he says sorry. Mm -hmm. Claro, así es. Así es. Good, Miss Varega. This is what I got. 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 Esto lo hicimos con el A hace un rato y le fue bastante decente. Ya, aquí mi actividad favorita porque eh, no nos da ni una pista. Lo único que hay que hacer es completar con la palabra que es correcta. Dice, I can't for Rihanna's concert. Uh, can I? It's going to be fantastic. De lo vista en la clase, en las unidades, ¿qué palabras debiesen ir? Dice, I can't for Rihanna's concert. Yo también. Va a ser fantástico. O si fuesen chicos, también. I can't wait for Rihanna's concert. Man. Mm -mm. It's going to be fantastic. ¿Qué debería ir aquí? ¿Qué debería ir? Si va a haber un concierto, uno puede decir, oh, I can't. Wait. Can't wait. Thank you. ¿Qué lo dijo por ahí? Yo, yo. Me dice Cristóbal Cabrera, I can't wait. Ya, yeah, pues can't wait, no puedo esperar. Pues. Ah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Ariana. Okay. Can't wait for the concert. Yes. Yeah. ¿Y qué le dirá acá? Si dice, yo también. ¿Qué, ¿Qué frase ocupamos nosotros para decir? Sí, yo también. Porque yo tampoco puedo esperar. Yo también. Yes, thank you. Uh, si es negativo, ¿cómo decíamos yo también? O yo tampoco puedo esperar. Habían dos posibilidades. El positivo era so, el negativo eran otras dos palabras. Ah, neither o no. Yes, neither can I. Or nor. Or nor. Ya, yeah, ahí se activaron por fin. Neither or nor. Ya voy a poner neither, ¿ya? Yeah? ¿Por qué es negativo? Por el can't. Ya, yeah. eh, dice, I to love that show when I was a kid. So, uh uh. I thought it was great. ¿Qué era ahí? I used. I used to. Yeah. Ah, bueno, el tuyo está puesto. Bueno, I used to. Bueno, la pista está igual, pero lo hice cuando era un niño, entonces ya no. Dice, so, yo también. ¿Cómo le digo yo también? Pero empezaba. So did I. Hasta mirar on fire. So did I. I thought it was great. Yes. Uh, next one. I, it wasn't raining. Do. I want to go for a walk. If only. Ya, yeah, o sea, podría ser if only, pero empieza con I. Entonces sería el, el alternativo. Mm. El, el que es igual a... El, I wish. I wish, yes. I wish it wasn't raining. Ojalá no estuviese lloviendo. Y le dice, do I. ¿Cómo le digo? Yo también. So do I. So do I. Yo también eh, quiero ir a caminar. Yeah. For example, I wish quarantine was over. So do I. So I can ride the bike in the beach. Yeah. Where is Alex? I wish he was here. Was. Yeah, puede ser was o puede ser where. ¿Por qué los dos está bien? Porque son eh, condicionales. Debería escribirme un curso de lettering. Yeah. So I parties are always better with Alex. And yo también. So do I. Sí, do es la mejor, creo. 
Uh, I wish I so, so do I. Sí, puede ser do o puede ser am igual, creo. Por el is que está aquí. Puede ser am, el auxiliar. Ok, so, people, please, thank you, Arianda, for everything. Very, very nice. Uh, if you haven't sent the video, send me the video during the week. Tomorrow is deadline. El plazo así como máximo que le puedo dar. Eh, soy un poco más flexible con las personas que me avisan si sí, qué está pasando, si hay problemas, lo que sea. Porque no, no estamos en posición de andar retando a nadie ni andar. Ustedes saben. Cumplir en la medida de lo posible. Eh, so, send me a message if you had a problem. Uh, people who haven't done the video, send it in YouTube. People who haven't put confirm or eh, sent as checked, check it in Classroom. And Ariana, I'm going to check the video and have a good day. Please look after yourselves, stay home, and don't go outside, please. Okie dokie. Yes. Okay, people. Yes. Thanks for the day. Please, next. Sure. Yes. Question. Eh, al final, confirmo si le había llegado el vi los videos.